I feel solidarity for the people of Ukraine, but solidarity and the suffering of uh, people is being instrumentalized in this house for uh, political gain. The European Union is transforming itself into a, a military union because of the warring rhetoric we're hearing. But if you believe in that war time rhetoric, then you might as well believe in Father Christmas. Uh, people tell you that uh, the war machine is funded by Russian gas, but at the same time we're doing deals with Qatar, as is the case for Germany. Is Qatar not an autocracy? Is Qatar not involved in a war in Yemen? Well, yes, there is no uh, avoiding the condemnation of Putin's war on Ukraine, but spending billions on high-tech uh, military equipment now isn't going to save lives in Ukraine. It's going to be having an impact on people who work in factories, who are going to ask, be asked to work longer hours and accept lower pay. But if you ask people what this um, military uh, investment is all about, then people will tell you it's that you need to be able to defend yourselves in a situation of need. But if you're going to have a f sort of flexible um, military uh, court, then they're going to be able to uh, defend European territory, supposedly. But uh, e the EU isn't just an economic union anymore, it seems. It's also a military union. It is ready to fight. It is armed and ready for battle. But I don't think we're going to be calming people's security worries in this way. We, the ordinary people, the workers, don't want to pay for war. We don't want to fight in wars either. Thank you.